Hey guys, welcome to our channel. It's me, Toho, and I'm with. <laughs> <laughs> it's Amon's birthday. Woo -hoo! Yeah. <laughs> so we are out in town. We're working. We're supposed to be celebrating, but it looks like a work day. Yeah. What happened? We tried to look for cake, we couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> we ate so many, we ate so much meat in the holidays, and then we decided together <laughs> that we've had so much meat, we wanted good cake. Now, good cake is not easy to find. If you go to a regular place that sells cake and coffee, you'll get instant coffee yeah and then you'll get a sponge cake that tastes more like bread and with icing yeah yeah he's not focused i'm doing this intro by, my, by myself <laughs> so, <laughs> so we drove around to suburbs where we know there's good restaurants that sell good coffee and cake and um all of them are closed so we just bought regular lunch and um yeah we're here in Rinkini. i'm on i'm on we're here in Rinkini. oops sorry i'm doing the intro and i'm shouting he's having a phone call ah! anywho i was gonna do a whole birthday video for you guys and yeah we were not able to find an open place everybody is still holidaying and um yeah so anyways let's get into this video <laughs> second largest family that this uh, uh, village has ever seen in fuel has run out of fuel themselves you know you can sell petrol in your car <laughs> anyways we're out of gas and um, yeah we decided to to finish the cooking with fire so this pot has got the pop this is just um, a snack from Elia today and I decided that I wanted hot and not cold so I'm heating it up. So this is um, this is the morning at the Capolo house. We don't have gas. So uh, those who are addicted to coffee, they are really miserable. <laughs> <laughs> they think they can do some rural uh, and the tree is jumping up and down. <laughs> One log of wood, I just wanted, I wanted the small supporting twigs, that's all I wanted. Okay, apparently she wants supporting twigs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently a fire is going to be lit today. <laughs> this is about lit to the pecker. And you need to put grass in there. I mean, I was going to. I was going oh, to okay. get grass, get plastic. I know how uh, this thing works. Okay, let's go. This is what happens when someone wants coffee. They wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you put the grass underneath, man. I put the grass underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Plastic on, on top. I know these things. Let me get plastic here. That's not that type of plastic, but yeah, that will work. So you're claiming I did this whole thing wrong? Yeah. Come on. So you just slice the hood 
he just lines and hold in one direction how would they paper so they need air to circulate so they need space in between that's why that's why we have all these angles so that you can have your fire coming from i knew that the they need air but i thought that they i thought they still had air the way i put them Then you need these small ones. They are the ones who run on the equator. Oh. Guys, Amon is cheating. Why wow, he's been making fun of me? Now he says he needs magic water. Isn't that a lot of petrol? It's gonna go kaboom. The fire is gonna be bigger. How come you just lit an equat? Yeah. And I did a number of mistakes. Yeah, there you go, didn't catch. I am really gonna need that magic water because it's windy. <laughs> Not the only one. So last night. Amon was like, I'm not waking up in the morning to make a fire, so if you want coffee, you can have it. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but I'm going to wake up and make a fire. Let <laughs> <laughs> still make it though. <laughs> <I'm scared. laughs> I might have failed, but I had a helping hand. You could say I made the fire. <laughs> Let me go get that kettle. Not yet. Not yet. The fire has to go down. No. The fire has to warm up. Oh, it has to catch. It was still burning twigs. Ah, d'accord. Well, that's it, folks. If you find yourself stranded in a bush somewhere or you're homesteading for the first time, uh, you're a prepper. And the world has come to an end. <laughs> Make sure you have a little bit of petrol to light that fire. <laughs> After coffee, I decided I might as well go ahead and start beans. Butter beans for later. <coughs> I chewed a bean and it went into the wrong pipe. <coughs> anyway, um, I was trying to not waste the fire since we had already made a fire, but it it just got finished and we had to make a new one actually. So I've just boiled these butter beans, and they are now cooked. Meanwhile, I'm cleaning the house at the same time and I'm about to chill. Amon is about to go and buy gas in the city. And oh, you're no longer going. Are you not going? I'm saying the idea. Uh, mm, they were going to they were going to just leave him Whew. okay 
Flame is a tad low. So, I was saying, I want, if I had thought about it, I would have recorded him earlier. <laughs> this was, it had a green oil paint, it was an oil paint there. Mm. And so he's been sanding it and he's making it brown so that it looks more natural. And he engraved these patterns. Um, there's someone taking it overseas as a souvenir and he kind of wanted to make it look natural. And this is why I wanted to do today. So that tomorrow... It dries. Tomorrow I put another color. I put the same color. But today it will drink this color because the wood is a soft wood. Yeah. And it's white. Uh, it's so it's going to be light. It is going to be very light. So you want it to get another layer. Yeah, yeah so that the end is like this. Alright. Um, so he's staining with what is this again? A bitter tar. Okay. He's staining it with tar basically. And this is what he normally uses as well to make his frames dark. Stain them with this thing. It kind of leaves the wood looking more natural, not looking like it's covered with paint. Yeah, and it preserves. It's a preserver for wood, so you won't have borers. You won't have, um, what do you call? Pesticides that eat wood. That eats, especially they love this light wood. Oh, okay. Yeah. And because it smells strong, yeah. they don't like it. All right, let me let me take care of my pots. It's it's looking like it might rain. I've devised a little thing because while I was trying to cook, um, it was starting to drizzle. So I devised a little contraption to cover <laughs> my fire from rain. So... I'm gonna kind of let them cook together. Mm, the beans actually taste nice even just by themselves when you eat them. But they'll be nicer in a soup like that. I'm not going to put any powder, soup, any flour. I'm just letting it cook naturally with onion and tomato. It's now raining but it gave me just enough time to finish cooking this. So when Amon comes, we're going to do rice when he comes with gas. Fire, I was hoping to um, to boil water for biting and um, it looks like the rain is turning off my fire. It's seriously pouring. I had left my uh, water fire on and I put a kettle outside to boil water for biting. And I don't think that it's going to make it. But I can hope. <laughs> if the fire doesn't die out completely, I might be able to resuscitate it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.